It's very up close, isn't it, Anthony? <laughs> you guys, we're getting up close today. <laughs> I'm Ashley. And I'm Jada. And welcome back to our channel. Hi. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so now and ring the bell so that you get notifications every time we post. Yes. Now you might be wondering what the title Ice Bath Challenge means, but as you can see, there is a bath. That's why there's a weird echo. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we're going to pour a bunch of ice inside of this bath, and then we're going to get trivia questions. No, no. She skipped a step. Yes, sorry. We're going to pour the ice in the bath, then we're going to get We're going to get in the bath. <laughs> in the freezing cold ice bath while we're being asked trivia questions. And the first one to five gets out of the freezing cold bath, and then the last one has to stay in while we tell an amusing story. <laughs> We're gonna pour the ice for the ice. Yeah? Yes. We have our handy crew member who's gonna help with the questions. <laughs> and it's trivial pursuit, guys, so it's like it's hard. It's a real little the ice. I got the big bucket of ice. It's so much of it. In already cold water. <gasps> that was a big chunk. This doesn't bode well for Ashley though, because she's already like going like this, trying to like get away from mine. <laughs> okay. Mm. I don't think this is exactly how they do regular ice bucket challenges or ice bath challenges, but. Be good for polar bear swims on the regular. Lay <laughs> back and relax. We gotta squat down because you can't see it. Bathtub may not have been big enough for two people. <laughs> we're, we're both large in our heads. Singing. Stop arching your back. We gotta hurry up and ask these questions. I'm really about to think of this. Okay. Okay. Oh. the world's most expensive to live in from 19 London! 1993 to 2001. New York? Bay. Tokyo! So, Tokyo! <laughs> you guys can follow along. We don't need to know that we did poor at this. We're very distracted and we're probably not going to do great. <laughs> How many necks sprout from the guitar that Cheap Tricks Rick Nielsen admits Eight. gets more Seven. applause Wait, no. than he ever will? Five. Five. It is fine. I was, was yeah, going to yeah. say so I, to begin with, but it didn't sound like it. Yeah, was. I just, I knew the answer, but I missed, uh, I just got really excited at the beginning. I was like, no. Okay. Who was touted for U.S. President on 1988 t-shirts reading, he's tanned, he's rested, he's ready? Ralph Nader. Was it the president? Ronald Reagan was president in the 80s? No, Al Gore? <sighs> We're going to pass. Yeah, that's like, that's how you didn't win. We weren't even around to vote then. We always say we were old enough to vote. We were old enough to vote then. Who was it? It was Nixon. Nixon. He was still running for president then. After he was impeached. Okay, 
I'm sinking lower to be fair, but I feel like Ashley's only getting higher. <laughs> oh, it gets colder when she moves though. I'm like, whoo. What romance novelist gave her butler a $400 bonus for shampooing her pet pig with head and shoulders and rubbing it down with baby oil? You need to be better about which questions you're choosing to read. They need to be shorter. <laughs> oh, romance novelist, Nora Roberts? Daniel Steele. Yes. Yes. Nora Roberts? No, Daniel Steele. I've got three questions right, guys. It looks like I might win another one. <laughs> Which is heaviest? A cup of brown sugar, a cup of confectioner's sugar, or a cup of granulated sugar? Cup brown, brown sugar. Brown sugar. sugar. Granulated granulated sugar. sugar. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> we said that at the same time. <laughs> what hotel boasts the only championship golf course on the Las Vegas Strip? Uh, the Palms? Caesar's Palace? What is it? The Desert Inn? Desert Inn. Mine. Never been to Vegas. Uh-huh. What Greek... Greek... <laughs> it's not like you can edit that one. <laughs> what Great Lakes State Hamlet of Mount Horeb is home to the famed Mustard Museum? Michigan. Minnesota? Illinois. Is it Canada? Is it a Canadian province? Yeah, because Canada's not a state. That's a province. Um, um, Ohio. New York. Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah. I said Wisconsin to begin with. No, you didn't. I you said, said Michigan. Michigan. Shoot. The other mitt. <laughs> no, it's it's Minnesota and Michigan that fight over being called a mitten state. No, I'm pretty sure it's Wisconsin. Well, mm -mm. Yeah. What 2001 film spent $4 million to redo scenes after its star Gladiator. insisted that his character needed a Scottish accent? Braveheart. No, that's not 2001. Entrapment. No, actually, he only speaks Scottish <laughs> accent. Oh it's just thick and Scottish <laughs> It's the right actor. Mike Myers. But it's I'm asking for the film. Oh, this guy shagged me. It's um, not Austin Powers. <sighs> Shrek! Yes! That movie's that old. Yeah. Wow. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting yeah. numb. I feel like we should like wiggle around because it gets colder. Yeah. You got <laughs> one more to go when you win. How many of the 200 laps of his last Daytona 500 did Dale Einhardt finish? No, it's Earnhardt. Earnhardt. Oh my gosh. How many did he finish? 148. I think it's 156. Higher, lower, higher. 178. 198. 199! <laughs> I got that one before you. No! What New England senator was honored by the Magic Hat Brewing Company's Jeezum Jim Beer in 2001? No, skip, different question. What did transgenic pets of Syracuse claim it would engineer? Different question. <laughs> Can you read them at all? <laughs> Pick a good question. <laughs> Who wrote her 1997 book? No, forget that one. <laughs> What southern U.S. state executed the most prisoners per capita from Mississippi. 1996 to 2001? Alabama. Texas. It was Mississippi? Alabama. Texas. Alabama. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm coming back. Three, four. <laughs> he gave you the two oh, we tied you on. Can't, you can't turn the two we tied on. I said I clearly said Alabama. You said yeah. Alabama, but the other two, we tied. What it's critters? Proud about. What critters caused Florida hotels to make m ten times as many calls to fumigators in two, two thousand? Yeah. I get out. Oh, so you guys can like finally see how wet and cold 
<laughs> but okay, she needs two more. No, I thought you said we were gonna tell some kind of story. Okay, okay. I'll tell a story and then Ashley can get out of the bath. And so, what's a good story? I don't know. I know you're the one who's telling the story on me. It's um, cold. Yeah, but we have to think of a good one. <laughs> a good one? Oh, oh, we used to do Here's polar bear swim at 4-H camp. That's not a good this story. So, I'm going to tell you a story about how we learned how to swim. Uh, you would have thought it would have been like growing up with family and you know, we camped a lot. So we probably like, were okay with the water. But learning how to swim, our mom took us to this like pool that was you know, a mile down the road and she gets in the deep end and there's like this little diving board. We see all the kids hopping off of it and it looks like so much fun. And she's like, I'm going to be right here waiting on you guys. Just jump off the end and they grab you and take you. So we go, you know, the both of us, um, which I don't know how we, I don't know how we got to go together, but we went the both of us. We're so tiny. We're like four. Yeah. Probably. Anyways. Anyways. Mom tells us to jump off, and people are looking at her like she's crazy because we're sitting there floundering. Yeah, she she's just not left us. us. Yeah, she left us. And she was like, you'll survive. It'll be fine. <laughs> that's how we learned how to swim. What's out of survival? She didn't throw us in necessarily, but she made us think that we'd be welcomed into a warm, motherly embrace. And um, we weren't. Ooh, sorry, that was a cold chill because uh, that's cold. <laughs> um, but anyways... Thanks for joining us for another silly little gameplay. So if you like this video, which we hope you did, and we hope that you got a lot of the questions right, <laughs> and like us, so we're like, skip that one and skip that one. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, we Man, you're just trying to procrastinate, so I'm staying here longer. Give us a like thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.